This video is about how to apply a radial heat map to your map. Here on the map I have plotted some of the sales data from the stores that I own in the state of Florida. But let's say that I want to identify the areas where my sales are doing very well. With the radial heat map it's super simple to identify that. So I come over here to this drop down menu and I click on this and then I select heat map. Once I click on heat map I'll then have this menu appear and I'm going to go through each of these things one by one. So obviously the visibility we want to be on. The calculation column gives you the option to either choose location density or the sum or average of any quantitative values that you have in your spreadsheet. So I will choose sum of annual sales. The radius, the inner opacity, and the outer opacity all refer to more of the visual side of things. So I'm going to change the radius so that it's a little smaller so that I can really identify the correct areas. So I'm going to say a 25 mile radius. And then I'm going to keep the inner opacity and the outer opacity of all the circles that MapLine draws to create this heat map at their default values. And then I'll keep the legend on. And then all I do is I hit save. After clicking save, I can now see the heat map. But obviously with the pins there, it makes it a little difficult to view. So what I can do is I can come over here to this pin itself and I can click on that. And then I'm going to change the visibility here from yes to no. And then I hit save. And now I can easily see the different areas in the state of Florida where my sales are doing very well. Obviously here in the southern region is where I'm doing the best. And that's how easy it is to apply a radial heat map using MapLine.